Hey there, it's Miss H and K. So today we are going to show you guys how to make a project that we've done in first grade. And this is a project that K did when he was in first grade too. And I'm gonna show you his. I tried to get it off the wall, but I couldn't get it off the wall. So I'm gonna show you this on his Art Sonia site. Uh, this is his little piggy. And we did this project by learning a little bit about um, the surrealist artist Salvador Dali. And he has these paintings and sculptures that he's done mostly of elephants but some of other animals where they have these really long spider legs super long legs and so we thought we'd put a fun twist on it and we made animals farm animals and added these really funny looking spider legs onto our animals. So today we are gonna make a pig and I've done ones where I've shown students how to make a sheep and a cow as well. But today we're gonna focus on the piggy because piggies are fun. So we are going to start making it here in just a second, but let me show you what you guys need to make this project. You need a piece of paper, first of all, okay? First and foremost, you're going to need a pencil, a pencil to draw with. You are going to need Pastel. Oil pastels to color with. However, if you do not have oil pastels, crayons work just fine. Um, you could do colored pencils, but crayons I think would work better um, because of the next part we're going to do. So oil pastels or crayons. And then uh, we're gonna use watercolor paint, okay? Um, you could use liquid watercolor or you can use the water pan watercolors like we're going to use. And of course, you'll need a little bit of water to use with your watercolors, okay? and paintbrushes okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started hope you guys get your supplies ready so we can start making this together okay guys we are going to go ahead and get started this is going to be my piece of art and this is going to be Cade's piece of art right over here okay so one thing to remember when you're drawing you want to make um, your art vertical so you see how our papers are standing tall and not laying down so make sure you make your paper vertical that way you can make the longest legs possible on your animal so we are gonna start, start, I said snart. We're gonna start our piggy with his snout. So we're going to draw a big oval near the right side of the paper. Nice. And we're gonna draw his little piggy snout holes. So we're going to, I guess you can call them nostrils, or holes. Ooh, this is gonna be a big pig. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna draw a line on the top of his paper. Can <laughs> <laughs> we start over? Oh, okay. Hang on. No, let's start No, over. I'll just edit it out. No. Okay, and we're gonna draw a line on the top of his snout and the line on the bottom of his snout. <laughs> oh, I like it. No, it's I awesome. Don't. Okay, and then we're going to draw his body. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a gigantic letter C. And when I say gigantic, I mean gigantic. So notice how I started it at the top of this line and I ended... <laughs> wow! <laughs> I ended at the other line. <laughs> That is a big pig, Cade. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we need to draw the little piggy's eye. And this piggy is looking to the side, so you only draw one eye, because the other eye is on the other side of his head. And then we're gonna draw his mouth, which is just a simple curved line. Okay, and then his ears. So we're just gonna draw two triangle shapes right here on top of his head. Okay, so what's something that our piggy's missing? His tail. His tail, okay. So piggy tail, what kind of line do we use for a piggy tail? Yeah, what's that called? Do you know what it's called? Oh. A curly line, okay. So we're gonna draw a curly line just with a couple of curls on the back end of your piggy. Okay, very good. Now, what else does he need? Legs. Legs. So we're going to draw stick legs. So you're going to make your legs go all the way to the bottom of your paper. And we're going to draw four legs. So you draw one, two, and I like to do two next to each other, and then two more next to each other. 
<laughs> I love it. Okay, so here's the next part. Our pig is done. See? Super easy piggy. But what we need to think about now is the horizon line. Do you remember what the horizon line yes. was? What does that mean? Where the sun? No, no. no. Where the grass and the sky touches. Right, so it's the line that divides the sky from the ground, okay? So your horizon line could be really, really low on your paper, and if it is, you'll have just a little bit of grass and a lot of sky. It could be in the middle of your paper, and so you have half grass and half sky. Or it could be at the top of your paper, and you have a little bitty bit of sky and a whole lot of grass, okay? So you have to draw a horizon line somewhere, so you decide where to do it. The one thing to keep in mind is do not draw on top of your piggy's body, okay? we Because he is in the front of our paper. He's in the foreground of our paper, okay? And our horizon line is way in the back. So we need to make sure that we don't draw him a draw the line on top of the piggy. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a spot for my horizon line, and I want you to pick a spot for your horizon line. I'm doing mine a hill. Oh, love it. Okay, so he has a hill. You're so creative. Okay, so we have ourselves a horizon line. So when we paint. Our paint is gonna go, our green paint is gonna go down here for our, our grass, and our uh, blue paint is gonna go up here for the sky. Next thing is the sun. Okay, so you can choose where to put your sun. Um, you could choose to put your sun just in a circle in the sky if you want to, or we could do a sunrise. What would you like to do? When the sun's going down. Oh, you're doing a sunset. Okay, awesome. So Kate's gonna do a sunset. So notice how he did a curved line on that horizon line, and now what are you gonna put on it? I don't want to put that. You don't want to put the rays on it? Okay, so you could put the rays on it if you want to, or you can just color it yellow so people will know that it is a sunset. I will draw the other kind of sun that you can draw, which is just a sun up in the sky. Now, if you wanted to make this a nighttime picture, you could also, instead of drawing a sun, you could draw a moon, and you could have a dark blue sky, okay? So that's another option if you would like to, okay? So all of our parts in pencil are done. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to color with oil pastels. So what is one tip you can give your friends, Cade, about oil pastels? Do not smear them on your clothes after you get it on your, your hands. Right, so these guys are a little bit different than crayons if you've never used them before. Um, they do get on your skin. If you were to color with a um, crayon on your skin, it would not do this. They're really, really, really oily feeling, okay? So that's why they're called oil pastels, okay? So you're gonna use oil pastels to color only a couple of parts, okay? You're only gonna color your sun and your pig, okay? We are gonna trace with black, but black is always last with pastels because it's really, really potent and it kind of messes up all the other colors if we're not careful, okay? You could draw or color a pink piggy if you want, or you could step outside the box and make this a really surreal piece of art like Mr. Dully and make it any color you wanna make it, okay? So I'm gonna let you pick your color first and then I'm gonna pick my color after you. <laughs> Me first? I'm gonna do the sun. Oh, you're gonna do the sun first? Okay. I need a really bright yellow. Um. Let's see. Well, you could mix colors if you want to. I think this is probably gonna be your brightest yellow. See, look, it's... Okay, here's another tip for you. If you get on a pastel and it's dirty on the end, then what you can do is take a scratch piece of paper and you can color with the pastel. You see, I'm kind of twisting it in different ways until all the dirty stuff comes off of the end of your pastel and it looks clean. Yeah, that's a bright one. Okay, so see, it's nice and bright. Okay, so here you go, you can do your, your sun. I think I'm going to do, what color of pink is this? That's more red. I think I'm gonna do like a dark pink piggy. That's a hot pink piggy. You think so? Mine's, it's almost like a... That's a hot pink. Like a reddish pink.
while he's doing that, let me tell you what our next step is going to be. You're going to take a black oil pastel um, and you are going to trace all of your pencil lines, even these little snout lines and the um, eye and the legs. You're gonna trace every single pencil line you have on your paper with a black pastel, okay? I'm gonna give you my black pastel because I only have one and I'm gonna use just a dark blue oil pastel instead, okay? Yeah, you can use different colors. Yeah, you could totally use different colors. So, we'll, we'll just be a little creative with this. For now. So now we're going to move on to painting, which is really the fun part. So um, you are going to remember what color goes above the line? Uh, blue. Blues, okay. And what colors go below the line? Uh, green. Green, okay. Clear, uh, I think it's Krylon um, clear acrylic coat that I spray on top of it. Um, and I don't, I hold it kind of far away from the piece of art, but I spray it on top of it and it, it helps the pastels to not transfer anymore. That way they don't get on your clothes and things like that. Okay, so we hope you enjoy making your um, dolly stick leg piggy and let us know how it goes. We will talk to you later. Have a great day. Say bye. Bye.